What's up guys? It's Neonate with another Settlers of Catan gameplay. I'm making these videos to help you be a better Catan player and beat all your friends at home, so please watch, play along, and listen to what I think about when I'm playing. I'm in the second position with orange going first. Let's take a look at the board. I usually look at where are the ores and where are the best producing spots, so ore, big, big cluster around here, 5, 8, 10, that's worth 12 points, probably a really good spot. 3, 4, 8 is another way to get access to this uh, this ore and that's pretty decent in terms of other high producing spots five nine ten is worth eleven you know four eight ten is worth uh, five, three three that's worth eleven um, probably not great um, three six nine is worth eleven interesting orange bypassed this opening five eight ten so that's probably where I would go the, the consideration I'd have to make is can I get wheat to support it and my thought going in the 5 8, 10 will be, you know, in the ideal case, I can get the 3 6 9. That won't be attractive to many other people other than whoever takes the 3 4 8, actually. Uh, but I can also get wheat and sheep at the 4 9 11. And the tricky move, sort of the advanced move, is to take the 5 6 12 and then head towards the 9, the wheat that way. So I, I feel comfortable I'll be able to get wheat to supply my. Uh, my city making machine so that's why I'm gonna take the 5 8 10 that's worth 12 points and definitely head towards the coast you know in a four-player game especially when you're the city night player never head into the middle of the island you, you just can't make enough roads to beat anybody <laughs> to any spot so you really need to just be very efficient with your roads um, you know and you only need three maybe four settlements to win the game when you're the city night player so definitely head towards the coast um, and also head towards those ports which are critical to city night player white takes the 4 8 10 that's worth 11 points a lot of sheep and brick um looks like there's a fair amount of wood on the board and white just took the basically took the brick so he's going to be probably the favorite to take long road i'm probably the favorite to take largest army blue takes the 9 10 11 which is worth nine points and then takes the 3 4 8 which is worth 10 points so he's she's at 19. i'm curious why she didn't take the 4 9 11 that would have given her all the resources Instead, she kind of doubles up, you know, triples up on wood with only a little bit of brick. So I would have thought that 4 9 11 would be smarter and head head west. And then you could, I don't know, that seems smarter to me. But maybe she's thinking she can get to the 4 5 11 or the 3 4 9 maybe. I don't know. That's a bit puzzling to me. White takes the 5 6 11, so secures enough wood and he needs to make his way over to that uh to wheat or he's gonna have a real tough time but you know because he has so much brick he he's he couldn't go down here he's really forced to take wood just leaving me with an unbelievable spot this three six nine which gives me wheat gives me just a little bit of sheep that i need and i can go for the ore port oh my gosh this is insane so just before i go there which is what I'm for sure going to do. Let's see where orange is going to play. Orange needs wood and brick. Not any places where they can get both. You know, she may take the 2-5. Uh, or she may take the 6-11-12. Neither of those affect me. So I'm going to just go <laughs> where is expected of me. This So this spot is worth... 11 points plus my original 12 so i'm at 23 really have a lock on largest army and looking really good for this game i mean i i feel i'd be shocked if i didn't win this one orange goes the on the eight with the three one port that's interesting but i guess the three of us will share this eight So my turn, um, I've got plenty of wheat and I think wheat is a problem. So, um, gosh, I don't even know who I want to go after. Everyone's, everyone's, 
not doing very well. I guess I'll just go after orange. I knew she had an or. And I'm blocking the only other wheat that I'm not on. So, you know, basically stalling everybody in the game if they can't get wheat. White put it back on the eight, blocking everybody but himself. Blue making his way over to the wood port. That seems reasonable. Okay, so I got a road building. Not the worst thing in the world for the person who has, who's the uh, probably the one of the best development cards when you're the city night player, because you have a really tough time making roads. I'd probably use it to go to the three one and also to this uh, ore port. I, I mean, this is really sick. I have so much ore, and I'll get the ore port, and I've got so much wheat. This is pretty crazy. Of course, the dice may um, may not work out in my favor. My numbers could not come up at all, and so it's still possible to, uh, to lose, that's for sure. So let's see if I can... Uh, Let's see if I can tr get a sh sheep. White probably needs wheat. Doesn't look like he's willing to trade. So we'll just keep going. going after me. I think I've played with White before, so I know he's a good player. And I like what he did. He blocked my wood because uh, he, he's got plenty of wood, and so that improves his, his leverage in terms of trading. You know, it would make less sense for him to block my wheat because he needs wheat. Um, and I'd be more willing to trade him trade him what he wants. Ouch. So a lot of um, a lot of nines have come up. White with 11 cards, trades in his woods for a brick, heads over to that brick port and the, nine, and the wheat. That's going to be critical for him. So he's already laying the, the path, so to speak, for, for a long road. And once he gets that brick port, he's going to be doing well. So right now... White is a probably a little bit of a thread, and blue is a thread. I think by placing here, you kind of you kind of just eliminated yourself from the game. You know, being only at 16 points when I'm at 23, I, I think that's a really hard hole to to climb out of because you know, as you know, Catan is exponential. Right, I mean, the growth is exponential and the production is exponential, and so when you're when you're already twenty, when you're already thirty percent behind, it's hard to catch up. So I strike first with three points, and more importantly, you know, whenever an eight comes up, I'm going to get two ores when orange and blue just get one. So you know, because there's three of us on that more often that's going to stay open and I have an edge compared to orange and blue. So white builds. So he's uh, at three points as well, has the important brick and the important uh, access to, to wheat. So I think this will be a great place for me to put the robber once I can start buying knights. So my next priority is get to a port and because that's really the only good way for me to get sheep. So I need to do that. I'm definitely mindful of orange reversing and t taking the 3-1 port. Though I don't think she would do that. 
but I would prefer to block those off so that I can work my way to a settlement on one of those. Let's see if anybody will trade a sheep. Okay. Let's see if anybody will trade a brick. See if white might take a brick, uh, an ore for it. All right, so guess not. Definitely buy development cards rather than rather than upgrading. Don't want to jump out to too far of a lead. Wow, I got another road building. I might even be able to take a long road secretly. I really want to get in. An, an invention would be great. Or knights, just to move the robber around and hopefully pick up a brick. And I can't get wood either. Blue looking for ore. Blue looking for sheep. So I guess blue has no access to sheep either. Oh my gosh, willing to give two for one. Probably to build to on this uh, wood port. Ouch. Another, you know, I might have to just upgrade. I really don't want to. Well, I guess, I guess white is at four points, so it won't look like I'm way ahead. So orange uses her monopoly way too early, in my opinion. Takes the ore. You know, the later you use the monopoly, the more cards it get. You know, if everyone's cityed around the eight, mm, you know, you'd be getting lots more cards. But anyway, she uses it early, which I don't advise. I think I may be heading towards um, definitely this nine. It makes a lot of sense. Take from white. Let's see if anybody will trade for a brick. I don't think anybody will. So I'll just hold for now because I think people may steal from me. So white at four points, still, you know, the favorite for long road. Blue could be a threat once he gets this sheep that he needs. I guess he's offering me a, uh, a brick. I guess I have to take that. So he's at four points and he's got that wood port. So he's a bit of a danger. I hope he doesn't go after, after, um, I hope he doesn't go after army. I mean, with a lot of wood, he's more likely to go after road. So I hope he competes with white for road. And orange probably can't be, do road since she can't connect her settlements. So she's probably gonna go army, I think. And I wouldn't mind going head to head with orange. Though she has better sheep and wheat than I do. Oh no, no, I have better wheat, she has better sheep better ore so I think I can beat her and I have better production so just got to get to this port one of these ports I need a wood or if no seven rolls I'll just convert these wheat to wood wow now everybody's wanting wood Got all that ore and then just ends up trading it away two for one and three for one to the bank so I just you know you shouldn't just jump at 
using the monopoly whenever a bunch of ores come out early in the game you just have to be patient and it, it's nice to be last you know because nobody really bothers you no one steals from you you can kind of quietly upgrade until you can use that monopoly in a very devastating way at the end of the game Ugh. unfortunately that rolls don't like that i'm gonna keep my sheep because they're so there's not a lot of ways for me to get sheep so who's up ahead probably white and blue um so white and blue oh who can i how can i hit them both i can't i'm gonna have to take from blue even though i think white may be a better player I'll even offer up a brick that I don't have. I mean, that I can't get access to. If someone will give me a wood. There's some wood for white and blue. So for white, if I were white, I think my next move would be to upgrade this 4A tent to a city. He buys a development card. Interesting. Okay, blue rolls a seven. Let's see where she puts it. You know, I look like I only have three points, so she goes after white. And then she goes for this three six. Orange rolls a seven. Let's see where she puts it. I think. Last time she put it on this, uh... Okay, so she puts it on the 11. Blocking both blue and white. Like that. Man. So I need a wood. I'm gonna offer up an ore. Let's see if anybody would be willing to do that. Or let's see if they'd be willing to do that. No love. All right, so let's buy development card. Wow, another victory point. This is pretty crazy. I can't even get ar knights to get army. Uh, so far, orange has one knight and one development card, so we'll see. Can't argue against victory points, though. Looks like I only have three points. after blue. I don't mind that. I'm thinking about playing my road building just to show people that I don't have three develop three uh, development point uh, sorry three development cards but and I would probably play it here just to look kind of weird. Um, let's see if white will trade for a for a ore. Let's see if, uh, I don't really want to trade him two ores, because I don't want him to upgrade. I'll just upgrade, wow. Maybe I should do the ore port. I think that's probably the smarter play. Let's do the ore port for now. Though I, I kind of doubled up on the six, which I, really didn't want to do maybe i should have built on the three one then that makes the five more of a target uh, which i don't mind because i have the eight but uh, by doubling up on the six if they block the six well i guess that leaves open the five and the eight so I, i'm starting to become unblockable okay white makes the move and takes long road i generally don't advise doing this <laughs> you know now you you just made yourself a target everyone's going to go after you for sure even though i think i have the best chance of victory and i'm at six points blue needing wheat okay so now i got some wood with that 10 roll 
See if I can get a sheep. Then I could build on this 3-1. I, and I also want to buy development cards, really. So now blue and orange both need wheat. No wheat equals defeat. Orange seems to be struggling to figure out what to do. She seems to have a bunch of ores. She can't get wheat, so she's not able to upgrade. Wow. See, that's weird. She didn't offer up the... She didn't offer up the sheep. I just don't understand it. She's at four points now. Yuck. Don't like that at all. Probably should have taken a two for one trade for that. Say, so do I want to keep anything? No. So let's definitely put it on this wheat spot. I guess I'll go after white just because it looks like he's winning. I'll go ahead and build on the 3-1 spot. Now I won't really be able to take long road. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So even if I connect it, I'm still just tied with white. Wow. The ores are raining in now. expanding his wood empire. The problem with blue is I think you need to establish whether you're going after army or road. And you need to, every road and every settlement needs to be thinking about that. You know, it's nice to get more wood, but how is this going to help you take long road? It's not really. I mean, I guess a way to do it is circle around the desert and then connect down here. That would help you get road. Um, I think beginners have a, they, they kind of do something that I call mindless expansion. They just build based on whatever cards they happen to get and go to wherever they can build without a real long-term strategy. And I think that's the biggest sort of mistake that beginners make. Okay, so a seven rolls. I think I'm going to have to go back to this, uh, go back to my sheep. I'm going to, mm, I guess I have to take from the white just to. I'm going to try to take army actually. I've got two knights. Basically at this point, just try to keep the robber off me and keep using my ore port. I'll probably keep it on that nine if I can to just impede orange while stealing from white. And I think I should, and then ultimately upgrade this 369. You know, I think the path to victory seems pretty clear. Trading for woods, that's interesting. I like I said, I would have expected him to start saving to upgrade to a city. Blue needing wheats desperately. I guess the nine has not really come up. 
so maybe he's gonna she's gonna build on the 6 11 12 trades in all that or for for sheep it's interesting I mean why why wouldn't you trade the woods in for the sheep I don't know 10 rolls giving orange a bunch of brick Orange wanting two for one, but willing to accept just one for one. So I previously said if I connected all these are eight, I could build another road and that would give me nine if I could be sneaky. Let's see if anybody is willing to trade for an I need a sheep so my question here is do I go for army or do I go for road because I could you know if I build a settlement here I'm starting to say I want to go for road sure you know what I will take that trade because then I'll trade these for a sheep. So I have enough for army. I'm just going to use this road building. Just to get rid of it. The next few turns I, I intend to just play knights. That'll get me to nine points. And then if I can build a settlement or upgrade, I'll win. Got five development cards. That's kind of a juggernaut. If I were one of the other three players, I would be attacking me. White rolls a seven. It appears like I have appears like I have five points still white not attacking me very interesting now extend two more oh three more roads so long road is out of the question I'm glad I didn't think about going for that <laughs> I don't know where white is going actually do you need more wheat I guess I, mean, I think it'd make more sense to upgrade blue expanding Still not a threat since she can never take road. Orange goes after blue, I guess. So I've got to use my knight pretty soon. Question is, do I use it right away? Looks like orange needs wheat, so I might use it right away. Might as well use it. I'm trying to stop Orange from buying development cards. Let's see if anybody will trade for a... Uh, in, will anyone trade me a sheep? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so we'll just pass. I've got to think that white's going to steal from me now. I've stolen from him so many times. And like I said, even though blue has six points, even though she has the wood port, I still don't see her as a threat. There's no way for her to catch up to Longest Road. She hasn't bought any development cards, so, you know, she'll probably have a solid third place. Uh, white still takes from blue. Just really odd to me. I 
guess I'll get rid of ores. I, I don't want to get rid of wood and brick just because those are so hard for me to get. I've been blocking the wheat. I think wheat must be pretty rare. Fortunately, no one seems to want to bite. Just wait. If I can get a sheep and then reveal my knight, I'll have won the game. And I also have ports or and a three for one port so I can convert things to sheep and win the game. So the question will be, do I play my knight first? If I play, we'll see when we get there. I don't think it totally matters. So I've got 10 cards now. I would be left with five, so that's not enough to win. Not enough to convert and win. So I think I have to roll first. You don't want to reveal the knight because then you'll be in the lead. So I think I have to go after blue and white here. I think I have the victory. Build. Play the knight. And that's the game. So, uh, to wrap it up, I think the the main takeaway from from this game is or again is the dominant resource and whoever can can really build on the ore um you know the best ore spot and build on the best wheat and sheep i mean you kind of have a lock on the game you can let other people kind of expand and build settlements and it's just not as strong as building a city uh, in a four-player game building up is always better than building out and by what I mean by that is upgrading this settlement to a city makes it from a 12 spot to a 24 spot. Whereas let's say uh, this blue he built over here, that settlement only got him three more points. So plus 12 versus plus three, uh, yeah, plus 12 is better. Um, so an army is way harder to steal from someone than road. Um, so that's another advantage. And buying knights you can get it get the robber off of you and place it on your opponents i placed it on this nine the only other you know good wheat on the board that i wasn't on to basically slow down orange to stop her from buying more development cards and then uh, but but attacking at the same time white who had taken long road though white really wasn't a threat you know he never upgraded one of his cities so that's about it hope you like the video and please like or subscribe if you'd like to see more thanks